obviously, you know, from my standpoint and from the team standpoint, uh, we've had a tough summer, period. Uh, in this league, you don't have an opportunity at times for do-overs. And when he, you get a chance to, to win, uh, as we have had in the past, you know, 2006, 11, and 12, you know, when you get a chance to win, you got to win. <laughs> and, um, and when you get an opportunity uh, this summer to do something uh, that you could have done and you didn't do it, you didn't do it. Uh, what happened with Dwayne uh, floored me. And I'm going to miss the fact of what I might have had planned for him and his future and how I saw the end and my thought process and how I could see his end here with the heat. Uh, you are what you think and you are your thoughts and and it's my responsibility to sort of make that happen. I didn't make it happen. And uh, Dwayne left. And so the buck really stops here. I'm not trying to fall on the sword for anybody. Uh, I have uh, great regret that I didn't put myself in the middle of it and immerse myself totally in the middle of it. Uh, get in a canoe and paddle to the Mediterranean if I had to, <laughs> you know. Uh, be in New York when he arrived on the 6th and greet him at the airport. Uh, I didn't do that. I wasn't, I wasn't there in the middle of that negotiation and that's my job and so uh, it's not going to be the same without him. Um, but we will, you know, forge ahead uh, I've been here when Zoe left, been here when Shaq left, been here when LJ left, you know, Brian Grant, Eddie Jones, but Dwayne is, is unique. And as I think Mike and our, our marketing department, you know, have done such a great job, you know, there'll always be a mat under, I mean, a key under the mat. <laughs> I just hope it doesn't get too rusty, that's all, you know, from that standpoint, and, and I'm going to miss him.